welcome to this episode of Citizen Meta 1. No VTuber today. We're just going to get straight into the content. Uh, what we're looking at right now is my personal workflow to get Rococo mocap animation data into Unreal Engine and onto a metahuman and have it not look terrifying and crazy. And it's a pretty dense subject on how to get this to work. Uh, overall, just because metahumans themselves are quite complicated. But if you are looking to get into Rococo and metahumans, I recommend watching the video that Rococo made where uh, Sam takes you through an hour long workflow. Um, that's basically what I followed. And he made a music video and got it onto a metahuman, but there's a couple uh, issues that I saw and I wanna show you how I do things a little bit differently. Okay, so step one is get your mocap suit uh, all hooked up and do some recording. Nothing really different about this. You'll see that I've done this kind of long take where I sit down, uh, look around, and then I start dancing. I just recorded this the same way everyone else does. This part, really straightforward. Make sure you use some of these uh, post-processing filters at the bottom. Uh, when you get into Unreal Engine and you plop this blueprint, the Rococo body pose, onto your metahuman, you're going to get something like this, which is broken arms. And... Uh, Sam uses a pose asset, however, I find that very difficult to get correct, and you can't change it afterwards, which is a huge problem. So what you'll see here is that I've written essentially a procedural uh, retargeting system for Rococo specifically, and I'm basically checking all the boxes, and you'll see that the pose is starting to correct itself. So I just did the clavicles, upper arms, and lower arms, and we're zooming in here now, I'm correcting the hands and we're gonna correct the right hand. And so you'll see that essentially the pose that we have in Rococo Studio, we're getting something very close to it in uh, the animation blueprint for the metahuman. And this is the hard part here. You'll see that I can basically disable the uh, Rococo mocap and you'll see that I have uh, procedurally retargeted this T pose with the metahuman. And the important part isn't just that we can turn it off and on, which you'll see I just turned off the clavicles uh, the corrections. The important part uh, about this with metahumans is that we can uh, dynamically adjust this at runtime, even if we needed to, how much we are offsetting and how much we are doing um, for retargeting. So it's kind of subtle there. You might have seen the shoulders pop back. So if you do it the way that Rococo showed it, you are baking all of these retargeting uh, features into the mocap and you can't really ever change it. With my workflow, uh, every single aspect of the retarget is dynamic and you're gonna wanna change that per body mesh. So that's one of the main differences here. So here is the real dirty truth and secret to getting your mocap data to look good. You have to clean it up. And so what's lovely about Unreal Engine now is that we have control rig for our metahuman. So I have baked this animation to a control rig and now you're seeing me do a uh, pretty standard motion capture cleanup here where I'm going to go delete frames and move the hand around. As you can see right now, I'm getting the hand to actually touch the couch. That is the only way you're going to get this animation to do that is by manually going in there, deleting frames, moving them around, and essentially reanimating uh, the parts of the animation that you would like to change. And so if you've been watching this channel, I've been doing a lot of simple uh, from scratch animations and that's been giving me a lot of practice to learn how Control Rig works. And uh, I really do recommend making your own animations first, like really simple ones, before you attempt to clean up mocap. It's uh, You have to know how the rig works first. So in this process here, you can see that uh, I'm trying to get the feet to stick to the ground a little bit better. And so I'm deleting the frames, the in-betweens, and I'm kind of singling out what are called key poses. And this is going to help the feet, one, not go through the floor and then stick to the ground and not slide around and look uh, kind of funny. So, you know, essentially identifying key poses, deleting the in-betweens, um, adjusting the key pose so it's not in the ground or like it's just the pose isn't how I like it. And uh, without going too much into how to like actually animate, because I am not a professional animator, if there's anything weird along the way, we just put one corrective keyframe in the middle. So this is the raw from Rococo mocap. You'll see that the hands don't touch the chair. The feet are going to slide all around. The hands are clipping through the body. And overall, it's really nice, but 
Uh, you'll see in the cleaned up animation here that the feet stick to the ground, they're not perfect. Uh, the hands touch the couch, the hands touch the knees, and everything is just a lot cleaner. So that wraps it up for this video. Uh, I wanted to give a quick overview of my personal Rococo workflow and kind of set expectations for how this stuff looks, right? So uh, the main issue is that your body is different than the Rococo body. And then the Rococo body is different than the metahuman body. And all these different translations end up in kind of errors. And uh, because it's inertial based, there's gonna be sliding and drifting. All of that's really normal. And the post-processing can clean up some of it, but if you really want perfect like hand on chair uh, motion capture or animation, you gotta get in there and clean it up. Luckily with Unreal Engine, we can do it all entirely in Unreal Engine on our final mesh uh, and export it then to be uh, used for whatever. So that's really nice. And then also, uh, you know, be really careful with your retargeting when you're trying to get the animation from Rococo to the MetaHuman. That wraps it up for this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.